In order to verify that two functions are inverses of each other, we need to take one function, substitute it into the other function, and see if the operations cancel, giving us just x. Or in other words, is h composed with g equal to just an x? Or did these functions cancel each other out, leaving us with just the x? So h composed with g means take the g function over here and substitute all of that in for this x over here in the h function. So that would look like 3 and then the square root of 2 times the g function. So x plus 4 squared divided by 18 and then at the end, subtract 4. And now we need to see if these operations cancel each other out. First of all, a 2 and an 18, that can be simplified to be just a denominator of 9. Next, we can take the square root that's going to cancel this square, as well as the square root of 9 is 3. So we've got 3 times an x plus 4, no longer squared, and now the square root of 9 is 3. The next step is to have the 3's cancel, leaving just an x plus 4, and now I don't need brackets anymore. And then subtract 4, and sure enough, it worked. They canceled each other out, and we've just got an x. But technically, we do need to check the other way around. If you reverse the operations, are they going to cancel each other out the other way? Is g composed with h of x also equal to x? So that would be the h function, all of this, gets substituted into the g function over here. So it's going to be this substitution here will be parentheses a 3, the square root of 2x minus 4, that takes care of this part, x, and then plus 4, and squared, and divided by 18. So these 4s are going to cancel each other out. 3 square root of 2x is squared and divided by 18 and then square. Well, squaring the radical will eliminate it, but we also need to square the 3. So that's a 9. The radical is eliminated, and then it's over 18. And finally, we've got 9 times 2, so 18x divided by 18. Sure enough, it works. Everything was eliminated except for the x. So these are inverse.